Forgot to close the door. Well, I forgot to turn the light on, then forgot to close the door. Forgot all sorts of stuff. Oh! Forgot it was Friday! Happy Friday, everybody. This is my green shirt. It doesn't look very green right now. I would adjust the colors, but we all know where that takes me. It was a prize, as you can see by the prominent product placement. I can't remember if it was a prize for trivia or a prize for bingo, but I seem to recall it being a prize that nobody wanted, and I kind of ended up with it. So it's mine now. It's my Timberwolves pin. It's currently 6.48 p.m. and 75 degrees. It did not hit 80. It was close, but it did not hit 80, I am told. Uh, and I got nothing. I'm here late because I showed up late, first of all, and second of all because I have a thing to go to at 8, so I'm kind of just marking time until then. So I've got about an hour left here. Allegedly, this laptop is going to spontaneously reboot at 7, and there's nothing I can do about it. We'll see if that actually happens or not, though. Fortunately, there's just enough time for me to record this, but probably not enough time for me to also upload it. So I'll finish recording, see what happens at 7. Maybe I'll upload, maybe I won't. Maybe I'll wait for it to reboot and then I'll upload. Anyway, I'll finish up with the DVDs, hopefully, since I've got some time to kill. And let's face it, it's too late to do work. I'd like to say hi to all my coworkers who were watching this, who have all left. I'm pretty sure I got the only car in the lot right now, so. But the other thing is, the air conditioning stops at 7.30, so you don't want to be here too much later than that anyway. And i got to get out of here, like I said, to go to a Ron Paul cabal meeting at 8. Our basic political operating unit, our BPOU convention, is tomorrow, tomorrow morning. So in addition to being a waste of a perfectly good Saturday, it's so boring. But we have to meet tonight to get our ducks in a row so that when we all meet tomorrow, we'll make sure that we vote for the right people, which means sending delegates to the next convention, the Congressional District Convention, as well as the State Convention. And then from there, actual delegates to the National Convention will get elected. Hopefully by then we'll still have enough people in our group to hold a majority and get those votes off of Ron Paul. This is how folks like the AP can't actually figure out how many delegates Ron Paul has because they haven't been elected yet. He probably has more than everybody thinks he does. Now, is it enough to get him out of fourth place? I don't know. But I can only be responsible for a tiny piece of the pie. The part I was responsible for was getting myself elected on behalf of my precinct, despite the fact that I didn't want to. But we didn't have three suckers in the room, so I became one of the three suckers. The good news is all three of us who were elected are going to show up, so the alternates are not going to be seated. Thank goodness, because we got some real pieces of work for Romney as alternates. I reckon they'll still show up. I think they can still run for delegate even though they aren't seated. And by run for delegate, I mean delegate at the next level. So part of the reason, well, all of the reason I'm going to this meeting tonight is to make sure I'm not on the slate for the next level. What will probably happen, once again, is not enough people will show up and I'll have to put my name on the list. I really don't want to do that. I don't want to give any more Saturdays up. These are nice Saturdays. And with the early nice weather, it just makes it that much worse. It's tough being me. It's tough being a principled, <laughs> non-registered uh, party dude at the party. That's what they love most of all, the fact that I'm not registered. Of course, I never tell them until it's too late. My eyelid's twitching. Too much caffeine or not enough caffeine? Here's to you. Now, I'm pretty sure I don't have any comments to address, so that's why it's me 
BSing. Oh man, there are four new replies to the thread. I guess I was wrong. I guess I should have looked at this earlier. All right, let's see what we got. And let's see if I can do it in four and a half minutes. Apparently I appeared drunk last uh, video. I think I figured out what it was though. It was more sleep deprivation than anything else when I took an involuntary nap in the middle of NBC's primetime lineup. I only slept through most of 30 Rock, so I didn't really miss anything. Da -dum Greg's talking about beer. I did not buy the beer yet. I need to buy the beer today or tomorrow. Because they don't sell beer on Sundays in this state. Still. At least tried identifying my snacks. Yeah, it probably was a pita chip. The I don't know what that tiny corn thing was, though. But it probably was Sabroso. Maybe. People have done life on Mars at karaoke, which is why I don't want to do it. I don't think anybody's done Golden Years. I'm not sure I'm going to do it, but we'll see. Cerebus likes flashing lights. Oh, let me flash a light for you. Uh, this one. Keep your eyes on this one, will you? More talks about David Bowie and karaoke. I have done in the past uh, Jazzin' for Blue Jean. That's a deep cut. Uh, I haven't done Modern Love because everyone does it. It's magnetic, but I have nothing magnetic to stick it to. Back here. Hey, you can still see it. That's a pretty good LED. There's also a karaoke version of Underground from Labyrinth. Is there? Hmm, no one's ever done that. I would do Underground, Storybook Love from Princess Bride, bleh, and Together in Electric Dreams. Have done that. Make it a movie theme song night. When I do karaoke, I try to make the songs I do tall, all tie in together somehow. Eh, that's too much work. I'd rather than drink beer. I drink at work all the time. And it shows. What kind of backwood city do you live in where you can't buy liquor on Sunday? It's a backwood city I call Minnesota. They have uh, blue laws. And there's talk to change them because people are tired of people driving to Wisconsin and spending money there rather than here. But there's not enough of an organization to get it uh, done. So when I run for office, that'll be the first thing I propose. Mike says that Minneapolis is the 10th largest metro area in America, and I will take his word for it, according to TV market size. Ah, oh, yes. Lots of cities slash states are dry on Sunday. Yeah, it's true. Amazingly, it seems like the more backwoods your country city state is, the less regulated your liquor options are going to be. Yes and no. If you're in a moonshine state, yeah, I can understand that. But there are dry counties in Texas, and I never could figure that out. And I, It's just... Don't like it. James is talking about Guitar Hero and singing Fame. I have not done Fame. I don't think anyone's done Fame. Or when I've been around, at least. Talking a little bit more about Smittix. Yeah. We would do Black and Tans with Guinness and Harp. We actually went to a Guinness shindig where they provide us with some magic bent spoon to like pour beer over and stuff. We still have all that stuff, but. Ah, JJ Dean noticed that I cut off my sideburns. Yep. Got tired of it. Just look how fat it makes my face. Ooh, it's wonderful. They'll grow again. I've done it before, too. In fact, the corpses of previous sideburns were posted to my Facebook photos page as a photo. And got a lot of comments at the time. I can't remember when that was, though. But yes, let the let the regrowing commence. Tonight we got the Lakers again. Kevin Love may actually play this time for the first time in three Lakers games. Is it on TV? It's got to be, right? It is on TV. But it's not on until 9.30 because it's Pacific time. Which is why I'm hoping this isn't a real long meeting tonight. Got to get home in time for the Lakers game. And then find something made of fish in the freezer. Cook it and eat it, because it's Lent still.
It's going to be Lent forever. Oh, man. That's it. We're over 10 minutes. I'm out of here. Thank you once again for spending another week with me. I'm CRZ. If you can't get enough of me, I have this website at crz.net, which shows that I've got myself all over the Internet, if only you would care to look. It'll keep you excited for, well, not excited, possibly entertained, though, for at least 13 minutes. But again, thank you for watching, and uh, I love you, and I'll see you next week, barring any major catastrophe or political convention. So long.